Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2 uh, jet airplane in Minecraft. This airplane is also known as the uh, A-10 Warthog uh, and it is a close support aircraft. Um, so this thing is designed for uh, ground support of like um, just uh, ground ground troops of any sort I guess um, it is also quite useful for um, destroying like enemy vehicles and stuff um, and uh, it is quite a very uh, sort of distinct shape um, not many other planes look like this uh, and uh, it is uh, supposed to be a very very good very effective plane uh, for what it is designed to do. Uh, it has uh, two uh, turboprop engines uh, located sort of in the in the back here and then uh, sorry turbofan not turboprop. Uh, it has um, sort of straight wings uh, it has a single it is a single seater um, and the piece de resistance of this airplane is of course the 30 millimeter cannon, uh, rotary cannon that is located underneath here and it sort of goes like pretty much to half of the length of the plane um, and that thing can lay some serious destruction on the ground uh, that's pretty much one of the reasons why it is so effective um, I think it can carry uh, quite a few uh, different uh, bombs as well uh, if needed um, it has this d uh, interesting uh, split sort of tail design um, and uh, I think it's pretty much time to build it. So we're gonna start with the, land with the landing gear um, and uh, as you can see here, let me just show you, uh, the front landing gear is offset to the right um, because of the cannon. Uh, so we're gonna build it like that. Uh, that's quite a unique feature as well so we're gonna have something like this with some item frames on the side there we go and then uh, we're gonna have the rear landing gear um, let's see how far apart are they so uh, two blocks how is this one further out than that one? Oh, because it's offset right so we have three blocks from the middle um, and you gotta remember this is not the middle this here is uh, so something like this here uh, so one two three there and one two three here okay so we have this nice standing here uh, put down some more item frames up top uh, and then we're just gonna um, put down some more nether brick fence like so there we go so we have our offset landing gear looks kind of interesting and uh, we're gonna connect it all with the fuselage and the wings um, so let's start on the fuselage um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go out uh, two blocks uh, on the front there and then I'm pretty much just gonna extend it all the way to the back. Um, we're gonna come back to the to the tail and stuff a bit later. Uh, so I've pretty much just gone for the uh, standard measurements of this plane. Didn't really change any, uh, so you can check them out like online. Um, of course, my scale is one meter in real life equals one block in minecraft so that should be pretty easy to work out and also i didn't say uh, but this plane is all is of course used by the um, united states air force i guess um, i'm not sure what other other you other um, air forces around the world are using um, but it would be quite interesting uh, to know how the how do they compete with this um, I'm gonna have to look into that though uh, so anyway I did uh, 
I did put the front landing gear a bit too far forward, so let's fix that. Um, and because this is not uh, the middle, uh, it, the sort of this row of blocks only goes to here, and then this is the middle, so this goes farther, uh, two blocks, and um, just extend that. Uh, we're not gonna need this one uh, to be quite as long, so trim it down a bit and uh, just do the same thing on the other side. So we have something like this. Um, okay, so let's build the, the rotating cannon first of all. So I can't really um, represent that sort of thing in Minecraft very well. But I sort of tried uh, by having this row of slabs on the bottom and then having a scout and skull at the front. Um, it looks close enough, I guess. So we have the bottom part here, uh, and now we're going to continue with the top. Uh, so we have a block there. Uh, we have basically just a row down the middle. Uh, and then we're going to have. Uh, the side, sides, something like that. We're gonna finish up the the rear a bit later, so we have this sort of step here, and of course we have the same thing on the other side. So that should be pretty nice. And then uh, we're gonna have a slab at the front there, and we're gonna have the cockpit uh, glass canopy right there. As I said before, this is a single-seater airplane, um, so we have a quite a short canopy there, and uh, because it has a, a very sort of um, the nose of the plane ends quickly, the pilot has quite good visibility um, downwards, which is very good for ground support, I guess. Um, so, continuing, we're gonna add a row of slabs up here. Uh, just four slabs right there behind the canopy. That should be nice. And then uh, we can continue with the rest of the fuselage, uh, sort of the, the tail bit. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have to build the, uh, the the engines into the fuselage. Uh, so the way we're gonna do this is uh, we're gonna go out here. Uh, so up here actually, like this, and then we're gonna leave uh, one block uh, gap in the middle and we're gonna build all around it and we have this nice ring here and of course we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just putting the block in the middle there so it's easier. So we have these two rings and uh, they are going to be our engines. We're going to just extend them uh, for two blocks. So we have three blocks of length. And of course, we do the same thing on the other side. And then for the rearmost block, we have just a block of uh, black concrete or like black wool, whatever you prefer. And we have our engines. Uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, and also in the front, we're gonna just put in uh, some of this uh, fencing So it looks more like an engine There you go And we have pretty much those down uh, And uh, I'm gonna extend this uh, Extend the, the middle here uh, I can also support them here and here There we go And then we're gonna place down uh, some stone slabs Let me just check uh, so we have four stone slabs, like so, and that's pretty much uh, the end of our tail. Uh, we're gonna have to do the, the vertical stabilizers and the horizontal one. Uh, so the horizontal one goes on this uh, slab right here, so uh, on top of the, the bottom block, uh, and it is just two slabs wide. Um, let me just check how... Uh, how long? So we have three, uh, three slabs, and then the vertical stabilizer. So something like this, and then we have 
a vertical stabilizer. Uh, the back one uh, remains a slab and then the front one is a block. So we have this nice fin on the bottom. And then just extend this upwards. Um, and have a stone brick stair right there. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, so three slabs in length. And then another one there, a block at the back, and then just extend it upwards and put in a stair as well. There we go. That's pretty much our tail. Um, that's how it looks. It's pretty good. And the last thing to do, uh, of course, is to add the wings. Um, of course, we have um, quite thin wings, so we have those. Um, accommodation sort of spaces for the landing gear uh, that I'm gonna build also. Uh, so we're gonna start the wings um, at the uh, where the engines uh, start basically. Um, let's see so we are working on the very bottom so here and uh, we're gonna go three blocks out here and uh, something like that um, so we have basically three by three there like this and then uh, we're gonna have we're gonna extend that a bit and we're gonna put down some slabs down here so this is for the for the landing gear to fold into I guess uh, and then we're just gonna uh, go to two slabs uh, width and uh, we're gonna go up by one slab like so and then we're just gonna extend it for uh, four blocks yeah and uh, that's pretty much our wing um, not very complicated uh, that should do the job and uh, we're gonna have to do the same thing on the other side as always uh, so uh, we're gonna start on the very bottom down here now we're gonna make a sort of a 3x3 three three area and then we're gonna extend this here extend the bottom like so and then just go for two slabs raise it up by one and then just go four in length and uh, that's pretty much all uh, for this airplane so maybe you could dress it up uh, a bit more um, add some some other sort of uh, weaponry and stuff if you like if you have any ideas feel free to do that uh, I'm just giving you this basic A10 uh, to play with uh, so uh, I think it's a very cool plane uh, it looks very very distinct and very different uh, it has a very specific role uh, and uh, I find all of those things very cool. Uh, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did so, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my other videos and uh, I will see you next time.